Now, before we get started, man, I just want to let y'all know that if you like the video and comment glove down below, you will automatically be entered into two drawings. If every video that we get that we put up this month, if we can average 10K views, you will be automatically entered. If you comment glove and like the video, you'll be automatically entered in a drawing to win a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 5, or a new Xbox, whatever next gen console of your choice, right? That's number one. But also, every single Friday, regardless of what the videos do, we're giving away $50 in either VC or $50 to your cash out. However you want. Any way you want it. That's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Any way you want it, I'm going to give you 50 bucks, man. And uh, that's all you got to do is comment, continue to support the video. If each video, if we can average 10K views, again, we're giving away a next-gen console. But regardless of what, we're giving away $50 on Friday. Um, and that's just that's just what we're doing, man. Anyway, like I said, like the video, comment glove down below, and you'll have your chance to win in any of these contests. Now, now that we got all that out of the way, man, listen, this is Lockdown University. We're going over steals. Everything you see me doing right here, you I know you want to know what level of steel do I have. In this video, you're going to see me get a lot of plucks, a lot of steals. Every single one of them. I have silver glove with the 85 steel. So if you if you want if you're looking at the playing the game and you want to learn and you're making a new build and you're saying, "I just want to be able to get some steals. I don't want to go crazy with the steals. I just want to be able to get some steals." If that's what you want to do, if that person is you, all you got to do, 85 steel, silver glove, and you will be able to do exactly what I'm doing. Now, now that we got that out of the way, you got all the information that you need, the people, like I said, just comment glove down below, get entered, like the video. But my people from Lockdown University, now you're going to learn something because a lot of these steals that people are, that, that people are getting, I don't understand why people get mad because if you look at what the, the what I'm doing, you're gonna understand that I'm just not out here spamming around. I'm not just out here spamming the ball. I'm not just doing all types of crazy stuff. I'm running around and I'm waiting. Look at like like stuff like this right here. This is what I'm doing. I'm not just going for steals here and there. Look at this guy right here, bro. Like this, like this is I just I just want the steals to stay in the game where we can punish them. Look, one per two one per that's 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 the one. That's the two. He got a pass here and a, and a pass here. Now, granted, these are not the best passes that he can make, but these passes are super clear. He can make those passes with no problem. Instead of making the pass, what he's gonna decide to do is to dribble directly into two defenders. And guess what's gonna happen? We gonna get the ball and we up out of there, man. Now look, this is another thing that I wanna point out. What do people do when they get the ball? Look at what I do. When I get the ball, I am in I am right now, you see me right here? I am in protect the ball mode. I'm trying to protect the ball, but also I see, oh, dang, I'm, my bad. I'm, I'm just still learning how to do this. I'm in protect the ball mode, but also I see that there's a clear pass to my uh, to my guard out here on the outlet. We also got Big Mac running the lane. We, all of us are out in, tra out in transition running the lane. I'm gonna just throw to get the ball out of my hand immediately and get it to my guard and let him go to the rim. I don't understand why people, more people don't do this. Yet again, right here, look at this right here. Dude's dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Right here, boom. This is probably where he's gonna get the ball stolen, right? Right here, look, we already know, like I said, like I always say, he's in the uh-oh zone right here, right? He's got a clear pass right here. He's got a clear pass right here because Big Mac, Big Mac for some re inexplicable reason is running away from his guy, right? He also has another clear pass right here. This is probably the clearest pass that he has. And then he he can probably even dot the corner if this guy's sleeping. What is he going to do? He going to come back out and dribble again. Give me the basketball. Like what? I don't understand why we, should, why we feel like people should be protected from themselves on stuff like this. Yet again, here we go. Here we go. You see... You're coming up the court, you're sizing up. Now you see the blitz coming, right? You literally have a clear pass right here, or you could even probably make it, you could probably even make that pass. Now Big Mac is actually paying attention, so these guys, these guys, these are not available passes right here. Big Mac ain't paying attention. This might seem kind of dangerous, because Gambit is here, but if you just throw it here, you're gonna get that pass down. But obviously the safest pass is here. What is he gonna do? He gonna keep on dribbling. So you gonna get a ball up and look at what I do again. Look, look immediately, immediately once I start, once I get the ball, I go into protect the ball. 
I go in to protect the ball as soon as I get it and look for the outlet. Give it to the guy who should be dribbling because I only got 70 ball handling. I already know when you see Gambit go get on that rim. Yet again, look, look, look. We got another guy right here, man. Look, what, what, what is he supposed to do, man? Right, right here. He's dribbling. He's dribbling. Let's just look and see what happens. Look, he's dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. This right here may not look like it's crazy, but he's got a free pass right here. He can probably get that one in. But the thing is, right here, bro, it's way too many people in this area for you to continue dribbling. And you already see you already see my head right here. I'm standing right here. They're getting ready to cross. Good players, good players don't do this stuff. Like if you're a random, yeah. If I'm a random, I'm gonna run with him on around here, and then Brute probably gonna and let Brute go on his guy. Nah, good players not gonna do that. I'm not watching that right there. I'm going to step right here, and then Brute should stay stay in this area, and he's gonna receive this guy. And you see exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna let him go with the cross. I'm there. You see, now just just know, look, Brute is already handed him off to me, so that's him. This is me right here, bro. You dribbling the ball. You got the ball out there for everybody to see. Like, what are we meant to do in these situations? Like I said, every one of these I'm using. And then look at what I do. Look, look what I do. I get the ball. I'm protecting the ball. Got him on my side. But look, I see, I see that I got help coming. So instead of trying to do that, I'm gonna give the ball to this fella right here. And then he should have a free run onto the basket. If if that's what look, boom. Actually, he shot the ball. Trey ball, Yopperson. I just don't get it though. Like, look at this right here. Look, 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 let's look at this. Let's look at this one. He, he might be mad at this right here, right? Look. Bro, look at what you got, bro. This guy is getting ready to slip, right? He's getting ready to slip. Gambit's gambit ball watching. He might stop him. But what you do have is you can hum that one to the corner and you definitely have this pass right here and this guy's on a back cut so you can probably go there instead of doing any of that what is he gonna do size up you gonna size up you're gonna get a rock up man like i said i understand it but i understand that you sometimes you out there playing with man look at that right there bro come on man this dude literally momentum dribbles into the look look what you got bro like I don't understand why we should have to why why we looking so hard to nerf steals. I mean nerf steals when he could easily make any of these passes. He could probably Big Mac is not even here. Big Mac, you can just X Big Mac out. He's not paying attention. Big Mac is not right there. He could literally hum that ball to the corner possibly and get it out of there. But he definitely has this pass right here. And instead of doing that, he dribbles again and you're gonna get a ball up. On top of that, you're cold. I understand, like I said, that we want to get these, that we want to get these nerfs, and we want to get a lot of these steals taken out of the game. But my biggest, my biggest thing is the steals that that you see us going getting. I feel like if they nerf steals or if they do anything major, these steals are gonna be taken out of the game. Also, look at that. I am literally, I'm literally. Look at this right here. I'm matching him move, move for move. Look at this. Look, boom, matching him move. For move, he's got nowhere to go. He got nowhere to go. But look, look what I did. Look what I did. I see Brute coming to help. Now I got him in a neutral position, right? So now it's a very low risk. Let me get the ball. It is what it is. And look, I get it out of my hand immediately. Get it down court. Brute, Trey Ball, Yopperson. All I'm saying is, I understand. Look at this dude right here, bro. Look, look, look at what, look, look at what he's doing. This is a center. Dribbling the ball up the floor. He's a center. This is a center. Dribbling the ball up the floor with a galaxy under his feet. What is he doing? He's seen me stealing the ball all day. He's got a clear pass right here. He's got a clear pass right here. Both of those guys could probably score. But what happens? He gonna dribble it. Give me the ball. I Like I said, I definitely understand that a lot of people might be mad at it. And I understand that, you know, maybe I, maybe these are steals that I should be getting if I had 95 steel or something like that. But right now, I got 85 steel. I had 85 steel and I had a, uh, I had what? 85 steel and I had um, silver, silver, uh, silver joint, man, silver glove. Now look, what is he doing, bro? Right here, look at this, bro. One, two, three different defenders. He can make that pass. He can make that pass because, as I said, Big Mac is not paying attention. He can even make this pass and this pass. 
He's got all these passes available. He decides to dribble straight into traffic and think he shouldn't get a ball up. All I'm saying is, I understand, like I said, I know that there's a lot of people out there spamming and a lot of people out there just not taking, I mean, not not playing any defense at all. And my heart goes out to the people that are getting plucked off ball and stuff like that. But at the same time, you got a lot of people out here playing team defense and they're making calculated risks when they're taking the steals. And I just feel like if they take those away, then, then we're not gonna be able to get steals at all now maybe that was a that maybe that was a little bit of bull right there i ain't gonna lie to y'all but and and even more when he made the layup but the whole point that i'm trying to make is if they nerf steals then what are we gonna be left with will we even be able to get these type of steals because i know when they nerfed steals last year you couldn't even get these right here the double team steals the bump steals all this stuff right there bro look at it right there like like this stuff right here Anytime you dribble into a double team, bro, look, look, like this right here, look, this is a double team, and you literally got one, two, three available passes, and they're clear. One, maybe this is not so clear, but you can definitely make that one. You can make all three of those passes. He tried to split the double team. That's a very dangerous, that's very dangerous in real life to even try to do something like that. So, like I said, the whole point is, and then you see me, J. Jonah Yopperson out there. All I'm trying to say is, I understand that a lot of people are getting fed up with the steals and they, they don't like it and stuff like that. This is something that you're gonna do all day at any YMCA with any old head out there. I've seen him, I've watched him come up court and cross over 10 times. Brutus right here, right? Brutus right here. He's, he, he's gonna come, but I'm sitting here waiting for him to cross over. He crossed over, I got it. Now they got the ball back, but it is what it is. Like I said, I understand why people are upset about the steals because they can't do what they wanna do, but you can't dribble against people with their takeovers into traffic with the Galaxy Opal and think that and think that it's gonna work out for you, man. That's all I'm saying, man. But like I said, hopefully, hopefully, Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. Hopefully some of y'all are on my side with this. And like I said, I just hope that it doesn't take away from us being able to get steals in the future. If they do nerf it, I mean, I'm cool with it, but I just feel like, bro, the steals that I'm getting, I don't think they need to be nerfed. Anyway, man, hopefully y'all guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure y'all drop a like on the video and comment a glove for your chance to either win a PlayStation or an Xbox next gen console. But definitely you get a chance to win $50 in uh, $50 cash app or whatever this Friday, man. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Guys, please. Guys, please.